hell is this? I thought it was obvious. This is a screaming baby. Want to get even on those noisy neighbours? Screaming Baby Rental is here for you. For just $29.99, we'll deliver a little bundle of joy straight to that special someone in your apartment complex. Screaming Baby Rentals. Yes, we're petty, but so are you. Screaming Baby Rentals Where sweet dreams come to die What if you never do anything worthwhile with your life? How does ink get out of pens? Should you take up woodworking? Penguins are awesome. What the hell have you been doing the past decade? Maybe you should take up woodworking. Why didn't you become an accountant? Penguins are awesome. They're these wobbly, wobbly birds. You'd have to build a workbench. Maths is hard. What if you never do anything worthwhile with your life? What if you That's never do anything worthwhile with your life? That's the way they waddle. Didn't you fail fifth form statistics? What the hell have you been doing the past decade? What the hell have you been doing the past decade? Is that allowed? And Antarctica what if you never do anything worthwhile with your life? Why did you what take the hell have you been doing? Never do anything worthwhile with your life. Become an accountant. You'd have to buy a wobbly bird. Get out of here. Didn't you fail? That was a What's the deal with an accountant? How have you been doing the past decade? It's 3 a.m. What are you thinking about? And we're back. I'm Anna Broadbent here at Radio Ugh, and today we have some very special guests with us. I'm joined by Ernest Le Fundemont and Delaney Endersnai from the Doomsday Agricultural Preparation Society. Great to have you both here, Ernest and Delaney. Oh, you can call me Dee. Dee Endersnai? No, most certainly is. Well, it's great to meet both of you. I'd love to hear more about DAPS, and I'm sure my listeners would too. Well, Ernest and I founded DAPS in the late 80s. Right, so you've been around for a while. We most certainly have. We first met in 1985 when we were both involved in protests against French nuclear testing. (laughs) Kind of ironic, don't you think? What do you mean? Le Fundemont. That's French, isn't it? Yeah, well spotted. Nah, legally changed it to La Fundemont back in 93. Means the end of the world. Gotcha. Did you change your last name around the same time, Dee? Oh, no. I come from a long, historic line of Enders Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was pretty clear even back then the old damn world was going to hell in a handbasket. If I'm being totally honest, I'm stunned we've even lasted this long. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? In these past two years? Uh, it's getting closer. Total societal collapse. I can smell it. It's not great, but I don't disagree. The thing that became pretty clear all the way back in 85 was how unprepared people were for the total annihilation of life as we know it. And it's just getting worse. Over-reliance on technology, a lack of practical survival skills... And then there are these modern doomsday preppers who think they'll make it with beans, guns, and toilet paper. Totally out of touch with reality. Oh, they're looking at it all wrong, aren't they? Bunch of amateurs. I mean, sure, it starts off with anarchy. People running around, looting, pillaging, tearing each other apart for basic resources. Sooner or later, resources run out with no one making them. What? Sort of long-term planning is that. That's the key idea behind DAPS. If you want to survive the end of the world, learn to farm. That's an extremely good point. Ah, I'm not thinking clearly. If they were, they wouldn't be ordering toilet paper. Oh, don't get me started on the toilet paper. Toilet paper? All these idiots stockpiling toilet paper during lockdown in 2020. Wasting a perfectly good resource. Resource? He's talking about shit, love. Ah, best fertiliser there is. We've been pooping in buckets since 1987. Wiping our asses with reusable fabric. It's not glamorous, but it gets the job done. Think things through if you want to survive. We started DAPS back before New Zealand became nuclear free. Even so, there's not a hell of a lot we can do if the rest of the world starts throwing around atomic bombs like hot potatoes. What's going to grow 
and the ground is saturated with radiation. Exactly. Forward planning. <laughs> shit buckets. Over 30 years of shit buckets. Not just ours either. We're forward thinking here at DAPS. Change with the times we have. You've got to grab it where you can. Clean out portal loose at festivals, collect from dog parks. You've been collecting poop since 1987? We wear gloves, obviously. We have standards. Of course. Now, I was looking online for more information about DAPS, but I couldn't find much. Do you have a website our listeners could check out? We don't. We should. I've said it once, and I'll say it again. When society collapses, the internet will cease to exist. The P in DAPS stands for preparation, Ernest. We've got to get the message out there while we still can. We have flyers. What's wrong with good old-fashioned paper? (sighs) We're working on it, Anna. Trying to drag this grumpy old codger into the 21st century is like trying to put pants on an octopus. You ever try that? Where would I get an octopus? A fair point. Look, I know it's a difficult topic, but I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't ask, given your background. What are your thoughts on the recent protests at Parliament? Disgraceful. Absolutely Uh, uh, disgraceful. uh, uh, That's a bit more complicated than that, Dee. Respectfully, mate, I don't think it is. People have the right to protest, but that level of destruction, it's just not on. You don't go out and protest something. You don't have strong feelings about. Emotions get heated. People lose their common sense. I'm not saying it's any excuse to throw around perfectly good poo, but people are upset. That's human nature. I have been pissed off about plenty of things, but I've never set fire to a children's playground. No, I'm not saying it's an excuse. Not by any stretch of the imagination. But bloody hell, mate, the world's a mess. Let the pandemic run into its third year. Russia's invading Ukraine. We've got corporations destroying the planet. We're getting closer and closer to the point of return every damn day, and it just keeps going. We all feel that. We've all been living that. But we can still keep our heads screwed on, Jesus. I, I, Keeping our heads screwed on is the old reason we started the APS, isn't it? Creation in the face of destruction. Planting a garden to see something grow. Exactly, that's exactly it. And at the end of the day, it's got to be a decision, doesn't it? You can look at everything that's happening and go, burn it all down, it doesn't matter anyway, or you can decide you're going to grow something. Hell of a lot harder to make something grow than destroy it. Amen to that. You've got to be patient with a garden. It takes a long time. You don't see the results right away. Plants are temperamental as hell, but they're worth the wait. And I don't know about you, but I want to be someone who makes things grow. Not someone who tears things down. Me too, mate. It's why we do what we do. Thank you both so much for your insight on this. Before we wrap up, is there anything you'd like to tell our listeners? Well, as you pointed out, we don't have a website. But if you want to know more about what we do, you can come and have a chat with us. We're out and about in Wellington all the time. Farmers markets, the community gardens, and for you night owls, we do a lot of our collecting at night. When you say collecting, you mean... Collecting poo. Don't be coy. Mostly from dog parks. We check public toilets as well. An astonishing amount of people don't flush. We tried festivals back when I still went, but, well, it turns out if you've got all of that LSD and THC and MD and ETC in your system, it's no good for fertiliser. Kind of puts paid to your composting toilets on the paddock, doesn't it? If you run into us at night, you'll be able to see the poop pack in action. The poop pack? Oh, ah, yeah, it's like a backpack, but for poop. Here's the cool part. You don't have to take it off. To put the poop in. Ernest is a genius. Oh, oh. He made it out of an old vacuum cleaner and a ton of duct tape. It's just another thing I've been stockpiling since the 80s. Duct tape. Can't rebuild society without duct tape. I suppose you can't. I've got no idea what they make duct tape from. Listeners, if you're interested in what DAPS is doing, feel free to get in touch with the station. We'll find a way for you to make contact with Ernest and D to find out more. Ernest and D. Thank you so much for being here. It's been lovely talking to you. Oh, thanks, Anna. Thank you for having us, Anna. That's 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 nice of you to say. I know you've probably got a couple of listeners out there who think that we're a plank or two short of an outhouse if you get my drift, but it's nice to be listened to sometimes. 
But like I always say, isn't it, Dee? If you can't even listen to people who've got a different opinion to you, and you don't have to agree, mine, but at least listen, well, if you can't listen to each other, then things have really gone down the shitter, haven't they? So I, so thank you for taking the time to listen to us, Miss Broadbean. I, I appreciate it. See, what did I tell you, Ernest? We should have done radio years ago. I'm Anna Broadbent, and you're listening to Radio Ugh.